Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Sanitary 103 here, always promoting clean eating and a clean and healthy lifestyle. What exactly does my title really mean? You can't outwork bad eating. Any guesses, people? Well, I'm going to give you a quick breakdown of what exactly I mean. At your local gym, I'm sure you've observed this before, there's always that one or two people in that gym that have you know, are always working out really hard, you know, they're, they're sweating profusely, they're on the elliptical, they're on the treadmill, they're hitting the weights, and they're really working out hard, they're getting a good sweat going, and that's great. Well, one thing that you might observe is that, unfortunately, if you look at some of their physiques, it actually doesn't even look like they work out. And you're probably scratching your head saying, oh, that's kind of that's kind of weird, you know? They're working out really hard, but I don't see any differences. They still have a little gut. They don't have that much muscle definition. And overall, they just don't look like they really work out. Now, I'm not trying to be mean because it's better to work out than to sit at home and watch TV and eat potato chips, no doubt. But if you're working out and there are no noticeable differences, then something's really got to give. And that's the reason why I made this video entitled, You Can't Outwork Bad Eating. The difference between somebody like the people that I mentioned as opposed to someone <clears throat> such as myself or somebody else who looks like they've been working out and have a better um, physique, the main difference is that it's diet. Without a proper diet, you can't outwork the bad eating that you do. For instance, let's put this in a perspective. <clears throat> I don't have the numbers on top of my head, but in general, let's say a McDonald's value meal. A Big Mac has about, I think, about 540 calories. If you get um, a 20 ounce drink with it, that's another, you know, 100 plus calories. And you get some fries with it, that's another couple of hundred calories. So you're looking at about easily, you know, seven, 800 calories, even potentially more. Do you know how long it takes to burn that many calories during a workout? Well, it's going to vary with person to person depending on how much you weigh and how fast you go on the treadmill for example but for me at um, a speed of anywhere between 7.5 to 7.7 .7, uh, miles per hour on the treadmill which is a little bit faster than an 8 minute mile I can burn about 700 calories in one hour and that's with a, a great amount of intensity that would barely knock out the Big Mac and the fries. It wouldn't even take care of the soda. So you have to remember that, you know, it's easy to slam down a thousand calories, you know, but it's hard to work that off. And that is the main difference why you see some people that work out hard, but they don't look like they work out. And it's because their diet really stinks. And this doesn't only pertain to people um, that are doing cardio, this pertains to people that are, are weight training as well. You see some of those guys that are really bulky, and it's, it's possible they could be in their, in, in their bulk phase, which is fine, I don't really care, um, it's none of my business. But some guys, they got that real, you know, massive look. They're really, they got a lot of mass, but they don't have any definition whatsoever. And that's because they eat pretty much a lot of junk and they lift weights. And you know what? It's none of my business, you know, it's better to be active than to sit out, sit around on the couch, like I said. But um, anyway, I don't want to ramble on too much. But so just remember that diet is very important. And without a solid diet, it doesn't, it won't really matter how much you work out. So just keep that in mind. Alright, so that about wraps it up for this video. And uh, questions and comments are always welcome. Take care, I'll see you next time.